I am the great and powerful backstage manager and student director, Nicole Jimenez. Welcome to our show. Do not arouse the wrath of Mr. Chesler by using flash photography. Silence all cell phones, electronic devices, and crying babies. By gracing us with your presence, snacks, drinks, and 50-50 tickets will be sold in the lobby. The winners of the 50-50 will be announced at intermission. You may step forward if you would like to order pictures from the mighty Miss Mo in the lobby. Thank you to Mr. Chesler, Miss Marks, Miss Cahill, Miss Moreno, Mr. Haber, Mr. Smith, Miss Suchaki, Miss Mo, and my parents for making this show possible. As you follow the yellow brick road over the rainbow, remember, there is no place like an Alchemist production. Toto won't get in her garden, and you won't get in no trouble. See? 
Quit just standing there and clear that junk out of the wagon. We got a parcel of lumber to haul before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. Zeke, what are we going to do? Well, first, kid, you can't let that old gulch up and try to buffalo, try to buffalo you. You gotta stand up to her, is all. A little courage. A little grit. Well, I'm not afraid of her. That's just what I wanted to hear. All you gotta do is you walk with your head up, your chest out, and the next time she squawks, you spit in her eye. That's what I do. Would you really? Of course I would. In this life, you gotta walk tall and shoot straight. You got no reason to be scared of nothing and nobody. Ah! <laughs> oh, Zeke, are you all right? What are you trying to do? Kill the guy? Oh, how can you be so cruel? Oh, it's just a rib, Dorothy. Oh, but you really scared him. Can't you see how white he is? Who was scared? You were scared. If you was a jackrabbit, you'd be in the next county by now. It's all this jabberwapping when there's work to be done. I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of a job before they know it. Well, we were just having a little fun, Mrs. Gale. A farm's no place for fun. You want fun, we'll join a circus. I might just do that. I'll be a strong man, and I'll see the world. Well, don't start posing for it now. Here, can't walk on an empty stomach. Have some good. Gosh, Mrs. Gale. Just eight. Thanks. Twelve. You don't have to sit down to eat them. Get the wagon hitched up, and Zeke, you go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and Em, you know Miss Gold said she was going to do Toto. Dorothy, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Well, you just help us out today and find yourself a place where there isn't any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. I wonder if there is such a place to go. Not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. No, it's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. When all the world is a hopeless jungle and the raindrops tumble all around, heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a
never sculpt in my life, Miss Gulch. And I ain't about to start now. I'd like to see you and your wife right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? Why? What has Dorothy done? What's she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. You mean she bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog? <laughs> I just made a fresh batch of cookies if you'd mind to sit a while. I'm afraid I have no appetite, Mrs. Gale. Indeed, I was so shaken by the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog, I may never eat again. Oh, but if you don't eat, you'll waste away. And I'd hate to see a dwindle. Dorothy, could you bring Toad out here a minute? I'm sure if Dorothy's upset you in any way, she'll be, only be, she'll be only too glad to apologize as best as she can. It's gone beyond apologies, Mrs. Gale. I've laid an official complaint with the county sheriff. <laughs> was he sober? <laughs> Dorothy, Miss Gold here seems very upset. That dog is a menace to the community. Well, that's not true. As an act of public service, young woman, I'm taking that dog to the sheriff and be sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, you can't, you mustn't. Well, Uncle Henry and TM, you won't let her, will you? Of course we won't. Will we, Anne? Oh, please, Annie M. Toto didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. You see how sorry the child is. Surely if she promises to give your place wide birth. If you don't hand the dog over now, I'll bring a damaged suit that'll take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that fight. How would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's really gentle. With gentle folk, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order allowing me to take him. Unless you want to go against the law. Yes. What's it say, Henry? Just what she says. You gotta hand them over, Dorothy. No, I, I won't let you. Oh, oh, you stay away from me or I'll bite you myself. Dorothy. Oh, oh, you wicked old witch. Oh, Uncle Henry and TM, please don't let her take him, please. Stop her. It's no use in running, Dorothy. Hickory, I thought you were my friend. He is your friend. We all are. You can't fight the law, honey. Some things are bigger than all of us. Let me have them, Dorothy. No, please. Give them to her, Henry. No, no. Please, Uncle Henry, don't. Now you're seeing reason. That's more like it. Oh, don't. <laughs> Ow, my Gulch. Just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. But now, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. Well, well, I can! So if you don't want to hear it, you better pet your carcass up of my land. I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, Mr. Gale. Just remember, I have friends in high places. The want you climbing your broomstick and go visit them. <laughs> you get the horse hits to the wagon yet? Nearly done, Mr. Gale. Nearly ain't good enough. You get it done right now. Scott's getting darker every minute. Damn it! Come inside, Dorothy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You let Toto get away. She had an order from the sheriff, Dorothy. What did you expect me to do? Wave a wand to make it disappear? You at least could have done something. And you. You stood there like you were stuffed or something. I couldn't think of anything. I'm sorry. And you. One mean old woman and you were scared of her. It weren't my place to interfere. And Hickory, you're worst of all. You stopped Toto from getting away. I just, just hate you. Well, don't say that, Dorothy. You make me feel all terrible inside. Like, my heart was all torn out. Well, well, I don't care. I don't care about any of you. Well, I never want to see any of you ever, ever again. Toto was my only friend. My only friend in the whole world. And I will never see him again as long as I live. Toto? Toto! Oh, come here, boy! Come here! Oh, we got away from her. Oh, she'll be coming back for me. She'll be coming back any minute. Oh, we've got to get away from here. We've got to run away from here. Oh, we'll get food for me and a bone for you, and then we're getting far, far away from here. And we're never, ever coming back.
Where is the dreaded animal? <laughs> hey, doggy, doggy! I asked you to get off my land, Miss Milch. I did, but the dog got away. Can't have enjoyed your company much. Wherever the little girl is, that's where I'll find the dog. Kindly bring her out here. You never give up, do you? <coughs> Dorothy! Dorothy! She ain't in the house, Henry. And my first batch of cookies is missing. My picture from the mantle that's gone too. Sounds like you have a runaway on your hands. If she's on the road, I'll find her. And then I'm taking that dog back for good. If you're so anxious to have it, you should have looked after her better. Don't blame me. The catch on the basket's faulty. It's the last time I buy anything from a charity bazaar. <laughs> Traveling in disguise. No, that's not right. You're going on a visit. No, I'm wrong. You're running away. Well, how did you guess? Aha! Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. But now, uh, why might you be running away? Well, uh, oh, no, no, don't tell me. Let's see. They, they don't understand you at home. And they don't appreciate you. And you'd like to see other lands, and big cities, and big oceans, and big mountains. Why, it's, it's just like you can read what's inside my mind. Well, it is my trade, my calling. See what it says on the side of my conveyance. Oh, Toto! Oh, Toto, don't do that. That's not polite. We haven't been asked yet. Oh, he's perfectly welcome. As one dog to another, huh? <laughs> uh, where were we? Oh, please, Professor. Why can't we go with you to see all the crown heads of Europe? Do you know any? Oh, you mean, yes. Well, uh, you see, I, I never do anything without consulting with my crystal first. Uh, here, sit right here. Yes. Uh, just uh, make yourself comfortable while I conjure out of the air, out of very thin air, this very genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of the Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, in which Cleopatra first saw a glimpse of Mark Antony and Julius Caesar and so on and so on. And now you hold out your hands and help me reach into the future. Now you better close your eyes, my child, uh, uh, for a moment, to be uh, better in tune with the infinite. You, you see, we, uh, we can't do these things without uh, reaching into the infinite. Uh, yes, that's all right. Yes. And uh, now you may open them. And we gaze into the crystal. Ah. What's this I see? A house with a picket fence. Well, that's our farm. Yes, there's, there's a woman there. She's wearing a polka dot dress. Her face is careworn. That's Anne M. Yes, her name is Emily. Yes, that's right. Well, what's she doing? I can't quite see. Oh, why, she's crying. Oh. Uh, Someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Well... Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know, but it's someone she loves very much. Someone she's very, very kind to. Someone she's taken care of in sickness. Well, I had the measles once, but that was when I was very young. Uh -huh. and, and she doesn't care about me now, and, and I don't care about her. I don't see that in the crystal. But she was going to let them kill Toto. That's not what the crystal says. All I see is a woman who does the best she can misses you something terrible. Well, what's she doing now? Yes, let's see. Oh my, what's this one? She's, she's putting her hand on her heart. Oh, she's, she's falling down on the bed. Oh, 
Oh, you don't really think she could be sick, do you? Oh, I've got to get to her. I've got to get her right away. Oh, but what's this? I, I thought you were going along with me. Oh, I can't. I've got to get home. Oh, goodbye, Professor, and, and thanks a lot. Goodbye. Safe journey. Oh, better get the horse under cover. There's a storm blowing. A whopper. Poor little kid. Hope she gets home all right.
We must be over the rainbow. Now we can 
as mayor of the Munchkin City in the county of the land of Oz. I welcome you most to read, Dolly. But we've got to verify it, Lee, Dolly. To see. To see. If she. If she. Is morally, ethically, Independence for all the munchkins and their descendants. Yay! Yes, if this joyous news be spread, then we're gonna win our last day! Yay! Give them back to me. I feel 
only one who knows how to use them. They're of no use to you. Give them back to me. Give them back! Keep tight and saddle them. Their magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. I'll oh, you stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, fiddle-faddle, you have no power while I'm here. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. But as for you, my fine lady, it's true I can attend to you here and now as I'd like. But after a suitable period of mourning, I'll have those slippers. And my revenge, too! So best try and stay out of my way. Just try! I'll get you, my pretty! And little dog, too! It's all right. You can get up. She's gone. It's all right. You can get up. Oh, what a smell of sulfur. I'm afraid you've made rather a bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, well, I'd do anything to get out of Oz altogether. But how do I get back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Well, is he good or is he wicked? Oh, very good, but very serious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? I'm afraid I didn't. Well, then you'll just have to walk. The Munchkins will see you safely to the border of Munchkinland. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet for a moment, or you will be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. But how do I start for the Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning. And all you do is follow the yellow brick road. But what happens if just follow the yellow brick road? My, people do come and go so quickly here. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road! Follow the yellow brick road! Follow the yellow brick road! Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. You're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. The find he is a wizard, a wizard, better a wizard of Oz. He better or ever a wizard of Oz. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Well, I'm not very bright about doing things, but maybe if you bend the nail on my back, I'll just slip right off. Well, I can certainly try. It's a pretty stiff nail. Whoa! Oh, oh, are you all right? Yep, I just keep picking it up and putting it right back in. Oh, here, let me help you. My, it feels good to be free! Whoa! Oh, did I scare you? No, I just I thought you hurt yourself. But did I scare you? No, of course not. I didn't think so. You see, I can't even scare a crow. Hey, neighbor! They come from miles around just to eat my field. How to scare a crow? And laugh in my face. You see? You said a scarecrow swinging on a pole to a blackbird sitting on a fence. Oh, the Lord gave me a soul, but forgot to give me common sense. Said the blackbird, well, 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 what a thunder would you do with common sense? Said the scarecrows would be pleased just to reason out the reason of the witchness and the whiteness and the whence. If I had an ounce of common sense, I would while away the hour conferring with the flower, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel any riddle for any individual in trouble or pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another Lincoln. If I only had a brain. I can tell you why the ocean's near the shore. You can think of things you never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not be just a nothing, my head all full of stuff and my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then you'd sit and think some more. Gosh, it would be awful pleasing to reason out the reason for things I can't explain. Then perhaps I deserve you and be even worthy. Irv ya, <laughs> if I only had a brain. If I only had a brain. trouble because I don't eat and I won't try to manage things because I don't think. Oh, oh won't you please take me with you? Of course. Hooray! Come on. I'm gonna get me a brain. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Come on. Well, you're not starting off very well. Oh, I'll try. Really, I will. To Oz? To Oz. Wonderful Wizard of Oz! Ah. 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 
hungry? But I only thought crows got hungry. Oh, well, all living things need to eat. I don't need to eat. Does that mean I'm not alive? Of course not. You're the liveliest friend I ever had. Well, thank you. And just for that, you can have as much of my hay as you'd like. Oh, thank you, but I can't. Oh, it doesn't matter. So long as I keep my legs well stuffed, it doesn't matter what shape I'm in up top. Oh, well, it's very kind of you, but I don't eat hay. Oh, perhaps it's just as well. A mother field mouse has a nest in here and wouldn't like to be disturbed. Oh. Look, Scarecrow, apples. Apples? What's apples? The little red things in the trees. You mean the little red birds hanging upside down by one leg? No, they're not birds. They're apples, and they're delicious. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Well, I'm sorry. It's just that we've been walking a long ways now. Wait a minute. Did you say something? She was hungry. She was hungry? How would you like to have someone come along picking up something off you? Well, I, I'm sorry. It's just I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. Come along, Dorothy. We don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you hinting my apples aren't what they ought to be? Oh, no. She just wouldn't want any apples with little green worms. Worms? Didn't you say we have worms? That's what it sounded like to me. I'll show you how to get apples. Oh, you got worms. Worms, caterpillars, and you probably have those little wood lice, too. How dare you? Let's give it to them, girls. Take that, and that. They slammed the worms. Look out, Dorothy. How about them apples? We like them just fine. <laughs> I'm suddenly twinned. So am I. They've made sacks of us all. Look, Scarecrow, it's, it's a man, a man made out of tin. What? Yes, look. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think he's trying to say something. Uh-huh. Oil can. Oil can what? Oil can. Oil. Oh, uh -huh. oil can. Oh, where do you want to be oiled first? <laughs> his mouth. He said his mouth. The other side. <laughs> my goodness! I can talk again. Oh, oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt you? Oh no, it feels wonderful. I've been holding that axe up for ages. Oh well, however did you get like that? Well, when I was flesh and blood like you, I fell in love with a munchkin maiden whose mother hated me. So to prevent me from marrying her daughter, she hired the wicked witch of the West to put an evil spell on my axe. So when I went to chop down a tree, I chopped off my leg instead. Oh. You chopped your leg off? But by good fortune, I know a wonderful tinsmith, and he made me a new leg, just as good as the old one. So back I went to work, and you know what happened? What? I swung my axe again, and dang me if I didn't take off the other one. You should have gotten a new axe. I guess you're right, but I got me a new leg instead. <laughs> you sure were persistent. This time when I swung my axe, I chopped off both my arms. Oh, goodness. Now. I could understand how you were able to chop off one arm. <laughs> but, but how did you manage to chop off the other? I told you, the axe was enchanted. Oh. You see, Dorothy, if I had a brain, I could have figured that out myself. Sometimes I wish I hadn't gotten a new pair of arms from the tinsmith. Because the last time I swung my axe was the worst time of all. Oh, I don't want to hear this. What happened? I split myself right down the middle. Oh, my! So the tinsmith gave me a new head and body. But on the way home, I got caught in a terrible rainstorm and rusted solid. Oh, well, you're perfect now. Oh, oh, my neck! My neck! Oh, oh, perfect. You think I'm perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it! 
Guaranaco. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No, no heart. heart? No heart. Oh, you poor thing. And all, it's all hollow. And as long as I have no heart, I can never love my munchkin maid. Oh, I used to carve her name on every tree. Bah! 
Let him try to make a beehive out of me. Oh, you both are so wonderful. And it's funny, but I feel as though I've known you this whole time. But I couldn't have, could I? I don't see how. You weren't there when I was stuffed and sewn together, were you? No, I wasn't. And I was over there rusting for the longest time. I suppose you're right. Well, none of that matters because we know each other now, don't we? That's right. We do. To Oz. To Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. If here he is, a wizard of wins, if ever a wizard was. If ever a wizard of wins, the wizard of Oz is one he does. Because, because, I grew there, I'd be petrified. Lion, poor neurotic lion, to 
amiss who listened to him rave. Oh, the Lord made me a lion, but the Lord forgot to make me brave. Then his tail began to curl and wave. Life is sad, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without a tail. But I could change my habits evermore, be scared of rabbits if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion of hate I could deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a prowess, if I only had the nerve. Oh, you, me in your stride, a king down to the core. And I'd roar and roar some more. I would show the dinosaurus who's king around the forest, a king they better serve. Why, with my regal Caesar, I could be another Caesar if I only had the nerve. I'd be brave as a blizzard, I'd be gentle as a lizard, I'd be clever as a kisser. If the wizard is a wizard, who will serve? That I'm sure to get a brain, a heart, a home, the nerve. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard, a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever a wonder a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. There's nothing so depressing as boundless optimism. Happily, it's totally misplaced. Now, shall I squash them out like the interfering little bugs they are? Or shall I be witty and creative? The bug alternative is attractive, but messy. So witty and creative wins the day. Aha! Something with poison in it, I think. Something with poison in it, but attractive to the eye and soothing to the smell. Puppies. 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 This lethal lullaby.
candidate. Oh, he's rusted again. Quick, give me the oil can. I don't have the oil can. Oh, I just realized something. What? I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Boy, those poppies are powerful stuff. I couldn't feel a thing. Dorothy, you're awake. My white magic has done its work. Journey's end is now in sight. No, oh, the Emerald City, we're almost there. At last, at last! <laughs> <laughs>